Hi guys, I thought it might help to review the four causes to go through this worksheet that I've put together and fill in some of the boxes about the material, formal, efficient, and final cause of these different objects. So let's go ahead and do this on the screen right now. I'll do some of the rows and I'll leave some others for you to do yourself. Let's start with the first row, guitar. Let me see if I can't uh, type here without disturbing the camera. What's the material cause of a guitar? Well, what, what's a guitar made of? Let's think of all the physical components of a guitar. Uh, wood, um, wire, strings, probably some plastic in there, uh, varnish, whatever its other material components are. If I've left some out, we can add those in. Formal cause, formal cause, the shape of a guitar, uh, what it makes it into a guitar, the outline, uh, let's say, its guitar shape. We can be more specific. We could draw it if we had a, a, a pencil we could draw on this, but we'll just type. Uh, so the shape of a guitar should have a long neck, five or six strings, um, hollow body, sound hole. Basically I'm describing the appearance of a guitar. Okay. Efficient cause. How do guitars come to be? They don't grow on trees. They don't grow up out of the ground. They get made by people. Who makes them? Um, the guitar maker, the craftsman, uh, the uh, carpenter. It's made by machines, the machines that make it. Also, I'll put in there also the carpentry skill and the tools used. The chisels and planes and other woodworking tools that would get used, as well as the expertise and the know-how to use them. These are all part of the efficient cause of a guitar. These combine to help bring guitars into existence. And what's the final cause of a guitar? What's a guitar for? We might also ask, what is our standard for judging that a guitar is a good guitar? To make music, maybe to accompany singing, um, things that a guitar goes, does well be in tune, the things that we would think of, we'd say this is a successful guitar, or things which the guitar, if it failed to do, we'd say it's a poor guitar. Not a good example of one. Let's try book, second row. Material cause of a book, okay? Um, paper, ink, glue. Think about covered it there. Paper, ink, glue, binding thread, covers, either cardboard or paper. Maybe a few other things besides, but I think that's most of it. Formal cause of a book. Well, what does a book look like? Um, if I said that a cake or something else that wasn't a book looked like a book, what would I say it looked like? Well, um, usually rectangular. Um, maybe we say it's pages bound between covers, um, the covers being either board or paper. Um, should have a sewn or a sewn or glued binding. Okay, sounds good. Efficient cause of a book. How do books come to be made? A lot of there are a lot of people involved in the making of a book. So the author of the book writes it. The printer of the book actually creates the physical book. Maybe along the way there are editors, copy editors, and the like involved in making it also here. Machinery, printing presses, and the like. I think that that seems sufficient to talk about that, whether it's made by hand or made by machines. There's some people in machinery involved in making it. Final cause of a book. Uh, to be read, presumably. Books that are not read are uh, seem to be failing in their purpose somehow. Can say the purpose of a book really is to convey the information the author wishes to convey to the reader in the case of nonfiction books or to entertain or provoke the reader in the case of fiction books. Maybe also that the book should be readable. So if, if it fails to be readable because it's printed in too small a type, it's failed somehow to achieve the final cause or the end or telos of a book. I'll skip these next two rows. Let's go down to the final row at the bottom here. I did something here to talk about. An angel. What's the material cause of an angel? Think about that for a moment.
moment? Well, that's a trick question because there is no material cause. Does not apply. Angels are immaterial beings. If we really had to try to determine the material cause of an angel, we might say thought. Maybe some form of energy. It's rather difficult. I think here this is kind of a trick question because angels don't have any physical existence. We can't say they have a material cause. What about the formal cause? Formal cause of an angel. Is there, is there a shape to being an angel, right? We think sometimes of a person, maybe a baby with wings. That's more of a sort of imaginative representation of angels. Angels don't have to look like that, again, because they don't have any physical existence necessarily. Um, to give the real theologically correct answer, I think we'd have to say something like the uh, the the nature or the the essence, the, the genus of each individual angel. So the archangel Michael somehow has the, the formal cause of being of being Michael of, of Michaelness or Gabrielness in the case of other angels. Again, that's get that gets into that gets us into the theology of angels, which is is beyond our purpose here. What's the efficient cause of angels? They haven't existed from always. They came into being. Okay. Uh, the will of God brought them into existence. Presumably, God chose them to exist. Can't really say much more about it, not knowing much about angelic substance or material cause. What's the final cause of angels? What do angels do? What purpose do they serve? How do we determine good angels from bad angels? What is that Lucifer did that causes us to say he's a bad angel, not good at angeling? Um, to serve God, most obviously, uh, by praising uh, Delivering messages, that's Gabriel, or fighting God's enemies, that's the archangel Michael, if you know a bit about uh, some of the legends about Michael. So I think that gives us a good idea, as much as we can fill out, angels being sort of different from the other things on this list, about the four causes of angels. What I've left here, the two remaining rows, a cat and an iPad, I'll challenge you to try to fill those in yourself using what we've done here what I've given you of the four causes of, the, of a guitar, a book, and an angel. I hope you find that a helpful review and also a practice and challenge question for dealing with Aristotle's four causes. Thanks for watching today. Goodbye.